Hey guys, Angela here, and today I just wanted to come to you guys and chat with you guys about the re best recommendations for different hair types when it comes to protective styling. Because um, hair type is very important whenever you're considering a style. Not all styles are good for all people, and not all styles are going to look great on all people. And so um, I'm gonna say, like, if you have thinner edges, whenever you go to your stylist to get your hair hair braided, making sure that that you let them know that you don't care to have your braids close together. So that because if you get your braids close together that means they're going to part it a lot smaller and that's going to be really terrible on your thin edges and it's going to cause more breakage so I always tell my clients um I want to do what's best for your edges I give them a heads up like you know I don't if, if I see that they're having problems with their edges I'll let them know that I would definitely recommend getting their edges their their parts on their edges a little bit bigger to avoid so much tension on such small strands of hair that's going to help you get the most um growth from your braids and it's also going to allow you to get a longer wear because as the hair grows off um and it's the thinner the hair is the faster you need to take it down because if you don't you're definitely going to get some breakage another thing is um making sure that just because you have braids because this is one thing that was a problem for me i used to put my braids in and i, I would just like completely just forget about my hair don't neglect your hair just because you're having braids. Like braids are not a, a one of those styles that you can just put up and be like, okay, whatever, I got braids. Let me not even oil my hair. Make sure that you're taking care of your hair. Treat it as if your braids weren't down. So make sure that you're still oiling your scalp. Make sure, make sure that you're keeping your braids clean. Um, because I know for me, the older I get, the more sensitive I get to this hair. I can't wear braids without washing them every, like every so often. And, um, like, like you be the judge of how often you feel like your hair needs to be washed. Like, I might wash mine um, once every two weeks or just however I feel is most suitable for me. Because sometimes this hair gets a little itchy after a while for me personally. And, um, and like I said, you can wash this hair before you even install it. But for me, I don't know. It's just something about this hair now. The older I get, even if I wash it, a after a while, it's going to get itchy. And I'm going to feel like I'm going to need to wash it again. I do the same as for my girls. And I've noticed my hair is growing a lot better with that being that I'm cleansing my braids and stuff. Um, so yeah, just make sure you're oiling your scalp, keep them clean. Make sure that you avoid tight style, and it's a big one. I see people that get braids, especially the regular box braids, they're already so much more tension on your hair than the normal knotless braids. So I'm gonna say whenever you do get regular box braids, don't be pulling them up in tight buns. Definitely not right away. I don't recommend it at all. Like whenever you're gonna do a like a bun, do a light bun, like I mean a loose bun. Don't do nothing that's real tight. Don't be pulling your edges all crazy. Don't be trying to leave them up ridiculously long because you're trying to get your money's worth. Make sure that if you do decide that you want to wear them a little bit longer, make sure that you take your edges down and get them refreshing. Like, don't just leave those braids on your edges for a while. Because like I say, if you leave them up very long, the weight of their hair with those strands of your hair is definitely going to cause you to lose some hair. And it's not a protective style if it's taking your hair out. So we want to make sure that we're doing what's right for our hair. And, um... And yeah, most client, most uh, stylists will redo your edges if you want to get a little wear out of them. Because some people hair grow faster than others. You might put them up and you might feel like, oh, dang. Because I always tell people, once you can pinch your fingers together um, between your braid, between where your braid meets your scalp, then I feel like that's a, that's a, that's an indicator that, okay, it's time to let these braids go. Or at least um, refreshing the perimeter because those are your most fragile areas of your hair. And so I hope this video has helped you guys. I just wanted to do a part two because I know I talked about the best recommendation. This goes for all styles. Sectioning is everything. And um, I know if you got thinner hair, you don't want your hair to look thin. But just tell them around the edges, I want them spaced out. But towards the crown, I want them full. That way they can fall over full, but you're still avoiding all that tension on your hair. But if you go to a great grader, they're going to know what, what's the best recommendation for your hair. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day or night, wherever you are in the world. And I hope this video has been informative and helpful. And y'all, yeah, like, subscribe, share. Thank you, guys.